Many of us have experienced anxious feelings sometimes. Perhaps we've felt days when we're sad and can't motivate ourselves to do much. However, having those feelings doesn't usually mean having a diagnosis of anxiety or depression. What does qualify as a diagnosis? That's where the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or the DSM, comes in. The DSM is a book published by the American Psychiatric Association, which provides detailed criteria for the diagnosis of mental disorders. This is beneficial for two reasons. For one, it offers a common language for researchers and psychologists to use when discussing patients' symptoms and research. Secondly, it provides a standard set of criteria for diagnosis. The first DSM, or DSM-1, was published in 1952 with the goal of collecting statistical information and provide a standard for diagnosing and understanding mental disorders. The DSM has since been updated, and as of 2013, it's now on its fifth edition, the DSM-5. One of the cool things about the DSM is that it will always exist as a work in progress. Each edition provides a snapshot of the perceptions of mental illness at the time. For example, it wasn't until the DSM-3 in 1980 that homosexuality was removed as a mental illness, reflecting society's growth away from the heavy stigma associated with many sexualities. The DSM has also been moving towards a more spectrum-based understanding of mental illness. For example, Autism Spectrum Disorder was recognized in the DSM-5 as an umbrella term that includes five related childhood disorders. While the DSM-5 is moving towards a spectrum-based understanding of mental disorders, it is still a largely categorical model. Diagnosis puts you in a box. You either have a disorder or you don't. This clear line between normal and abnormal is simply not true. This is one of the major criticisms of the current DSM. The DSM will always be changing definitions and categories to best meet the needs of our changing world. The DSM-6 is already in the works and we hope you are excited to see what's in store. If you would like to watch more educational videos like this one, check out the Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel brought to you by the students of McMaster University. See you there!